what is a revolution? And what is the basis of revolution? Uh, what is the difference in a black revolution and the Negro uh, revolution? Uh, I would like to make a few uh, comments uh, concerning the difference between the black revolution and uh, the Negro uh, revolution. Uh, there's a difference, and uh, are they both the same uh, is the question. And if they're not, uh, what is the difference? Uh, what is the difference between a black revolution and a Negro uh, revolution? Uh, sometimes I'm inclined to believe that many of our people are using this word, revolution, uh, very loosely, uh, without taking careful consideration of what this word actually means. Uh, uh, what is the historic characteristic uh, of the word revolution? Uh, when you study the historic nature of revolutions, uh, the motive of a revolution, the objective of a revolution, and the results of a revolution and the method uh, by which uh, the word revolution, uh, you may uh, at some time uh, change words. Uh, this is a fact. And the result of the revolution, the method uh, is used uh, in interchangeably. Uh, you may devise another program, or you may change your goal, and you may change your mind uh, when you're talking about a revolution. Uh, look at the American Revolution in 1776. Uh, that revolution was for what? Uh, for land. Uh, why did they uh, want land? Uh, they wanted it for independence. Uh, how was it carried out? Violence and bloodshed. Uh, number one, uh, it was based on land, the basis of independence. And the only way uh, that they could get it uh, was through uh, violence and bloodshed. Uh, the French Revolution, or what was called the uh, French Revolution, what was it uh, based on? Uh, the land less against the landlord. I said the French Revolution was based on the land less uh, against the landlord and the independence uh, for which they were fighting. Uh, the land less was fighting the landlord uh, to get independence. Uh, and this was the basis of the French Revolution. Uh, how was it carried out? Violence and bloodshed. Number one, it was based on land. And the basis of independence is based on land, based on property, is based on power, and how to get it. Uh, the only way uh, that they could get it was through violence and bloodshed. And this has been the way of the white man. Uh, the French Revolution uh, uh, was based on violence and bloodshed. The British Revolution was based on, based on violence and bloodshed. The American uh, Revolution is based on violence and bloodshed. And so uh, the, the land left against the landlord, huh? What was the revolution about in all of these areas? Was it about gaining control of the land? How did they get it? Through violence and bloodshed. There was no love loss. There was no compromise. There uh, was no negotiation. I'm telling you, uh, you don't know what a revolution is. Because uh, when you find out what it is, why well, you'll get back in the alley. Uh, when you find out uh, what it is, you'll get out of the way. Uh, the Russian Revolution, uh, what was it based on? It was based on land. Uh, how was it attained? Through violence and bloodshed. Uh, you haven't got a revolution that doesn't involve violence and bloodshed. And you're in a revolution, but you're afraid to bleed. I said you're afraid to bleed. And that's your problem, is that you are afraid to uh, bleed. Uh, as long as your church is being bombed uh, and, and, and little black girls being murdered, uh, you haven't got no blood uh, to bleed for your own community because you're busy uh, bleeding for that man. You're busy bleeding for uh, that race. Uh, you bleed when the white man says bleed, and you bite when the white man says bite. And it's the truth, and it's a sad fact. This is a sad fact, uh, but it is true. You bark when the white man says bark, and I hate uh, to say this about us. I hate to say this about us uh, because we're all in the same boat uh, when you talk about us. Uh, but it's true, even though I hate to admit it. Uh, how are you going to uh, be nonviolent in Mississippi uh, as violent as you were in Korea? Uh, how can you justify being nonviolent in Mississippi and Alabama uh, when your churches are being bombed and your little girls are being murdered? And at the same time, you're going to, uh, uh, violent, going to be violent uh, with Adolf Hitler when you are going to be violent with every other 
a feudalist leader you had to fight uh, when you were uh, violent with uh, Saddam Hussein? Uh, how are you going to be nonviolent? Uh, in in Mississippi, Mississippi in uh, South Carolina, Newberry, South Carolina, uh, where they hung uh, a guy to death, hung a brother to death, uh, right in the town center. Uh, how are you going to be uh, uh, nonviolent uh, in this country and violent in other countries, fighting for the American way when you can't even enjoy it yourself uh, inside of this country? And I tell you, uh, it it is the American way uh, to be a revolutionary. And it is the American way to shed violence uh, and to shed blood. Because uh, this is the same thing that has been happening to you. How can you justify being nonviolent uh, in Texas and Louisiana and all around this country uh, toward a Christian militia that says this out to eliminate you, you and I, to eliminate us? Uh, how can you uh, be uh, nonviolent? Why, the American way is to be violent. Why, how can you hold up someone's uh, rights to hold a gun and self-defense and limit yourself? Uh, from uh, being uh, able to carry a gun and to promote uh, self-defense. Uh, but you're here fighting uh, just as you always have been, fighting for everything and for every country uh, except your own. And this has been the uh, weakness of you. Uh, so when you, you went uh, to fight Hitler in Tojo uh, and someone